Welcome everybody to the Big Fan Podcast. What's guys being guys, friends being friends, nothing but good vibes and high fives. Give it here. Yeah. That was a good fucking high five. It was five. good. It was Jesus loud. Christ. It was spanky. So we're back at it again, if you can't tell. Of course. Um, hopefully we can be more regular. Yeah. Because, you know, life sucks and mm-hmm. gets in the way like a little bitch. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but it is what it is. So uh, we're going to try to be more on point. Um, don't take this one into consideration. This one was kind of rushed. But yeah. still, we're gonna give it to you. We're, we're gonna still at work. We're, we're gonna give you that. We're gonna give you that heat. We're here for you. Um, that moist heat because it's now getting into summer and we're getting oh, all yeah. swamp ass because that's life. Um, baby powder is key. Of course, always keep a little container with me in the gym bag. You never they sell know. baby powder at the dollar store. Um, dollar store maybe. I don't know. I see it at Winko all the time. Mm. Um, Winko, mm. Target. They're open twenty four hours too. Yeah. Keep for all of your I don't know if you have a Winco needs. where you live, but if you do, you're set. So we're going to kick it off with games. Yes. As we usually do. What you got? What you got? Uh, I got a whole plethora all right. of uh, little gaming right. tidbits, things you probably don't know about because you're Mr. Manny and you know movies and TV and such. Yeah, I don't follow um, fads too much either. Yeah, so. fads. Yeah, yeah they're, for the, they're for the birds. <laughs> uh, but next, real quick, like... I just want to touch on, touch mm-hmm. it like this. Uh, Xbox Game Pass, um, for those who don't know, game Xbox Game Pass was announced earlier this year, uh, pretty much setting up the Netflix version of video games for Xbox games. Have we have we talked about this before? We did talk about it, yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar yeah. now that you explain it. Yeah, yeah, where you can like da- like download games to play, right, or something like that? Yeah, so it's $10 a month. Uh-huh. Um, and you instead of like streaming them, which could cause issues with like streaming or like lag time, you know, yeah. in competitive games. This one, like you, you pay the ten dollars, you get unlimited access to. I think the opening library number right now is like two hundred uh, games, Damn. and you download them to your system, um, so you have immediate access, no loading or, or you know having to rely on your internet. Um, but uh, anyway, news today came out that um, for Xbox Gold members. Uh-huh. Which is like a like a fifty dollar year a year thing. Yeah, fifty a year, like ten a month. Yeah, yeah. to play online. Um, for those people, it's going to be available June first. So on. really soon, really soon. So basically, they took a shotgun to GameFly's mouth and yeah. just blew its brains out. Uh-huh. Who the hell is going to wait? Actually, you know what's funny is that GameFly themselves have a a rent streaming version also, but oh, okay. they're streaming your games. So like. The quality can, people aren't gonna can like suffer. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think it's cool. Um, it's gonna be like a wait and see until I get my hands on it. And what's cool is with that June first announcement, they're gonna give everyone a 15 day free trial to test it out. That sounds awesome. Like if yeah. like I know, I mean, I used to play video games, you know, and I know that if I had that option to just download the games instead of having to go out and like buy them, I hell yeah, yeah, that's I mean, what I would do. Ten bucks a month, like. And you play like hundreds of games. Yeah, I mean potentially. I'd be down. I'd be yeah. down. I think that's good for Xbox. Terrible for GameFly. Terrible for GameStop. Games. Yeah. Yep. You know all those used games just gonna be sitting mm-hmm. on the shelves. Like yep. why when I could pay ten bucks and play a bunch or like you know you're a parent you don't know what you don't you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of new games they might hate, but yep. you know that there's a bunch of older games that are like proven games your kids can go play Mm -hmm. and you don't want to just buy one you're like here's 10 bucks like here's a bunch of games you can play you choose you know i don't need to make the mistake of picking the wrong game because i'm a a, a 40 year old parent (laughs) then you got to go with your parent to buy the game because it's rated mature Uh, yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, exactly so i thought that was pretty cool june 1st so watch out for that that sounds awesome next sad news sad news Uh oh red dead 2 is delayed I mean, we saw it coming. I, I was, saw it coming. I'm not even that much of a gamer, and I was so stoked for this. Like, I right? played Red exactly. Dead, like, so into that. Ugh. It's just one of those games that it did so much with such little environment, you know, because yeah, it's it the did. wild, wild west. Like, it's just nothing but desert. And mm-hmm. But they they still manage, they still even on the 360. A country, an extra country yeah. there. Even yeah. on the 360, managed to, in the PS3 to to, like, squeeze out a bunch of, like, environmentals and like awesome story yeah very fun multiplayer did you ever play the multiplayer um i 
like I tried playing it online once, the multiplayer. I, I don't, you got your ass kicked. You yeah, you, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Okay. I think it's it kind of like fun, a though. mini game or something. Actually, like a like a duel. I don't, I don't even remember. Yeah, they had different like, yeah, they had different modes for sure. Did you play the DLC for that? The zombie one. Yeah, yeah. dude, that oh, was so sick. sick. Yeah, I hope they do something like that again. That would be awesome. I really okay. So along with that, um, so they delay it till early next year, or we're oh, hoping it's geez. early next year. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, I was I kind of saw this coming. A lot of people did. A lot of people were really hopeful. We're like, well, they gave an announcement date, so yeah. it's got to be what they said. No, uh -huh. I mean they delayed the first. No, the first Red Dead was delayed. GTA Five was delayed. And this is the same type of game, open world, huge game. They want to, and they don't release shitty games, like obviously. Yeah. And um, it's easy to release a shitty game like that because all the, so many things can go wrong in a game like that, you know? Yeah. So many game breaking bugs can happen. So uh, they pushed it back. So that sucks. <clears throat> so they're not going to be E3 this year. Um, and when they announced that, mm -hmm. that they were going to delay it, uh, it actually, not crashed, but it hit. Uh, GameStop's uh, stock. Ouch. By, I think it was only like six percent. Why is that? Their pre-orders. Oh um, yeah. You know, were people already pre-ordering them? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah yeah. No. Hell yeah. So, I mean, just think anything like that, especially now, is really affecting GameStop mm -hmm. because like they're already on the edge. So yeah. Any other negative yeah. news in gaming world, like it, it just yeah. kind of kicks them in the teeth a little bit mm -hmm. while they're down. The, the GameStop <clears throat> ingestion just got a huge like sale banner with big yellow sign really uh they did um when was i over there it was like mon uh, no it was like last wednesday or thursday mm -hmm. they had this huge banner that said giant sale on there oh you know why they're probably shutting it down because i think oh damn there's a, there's something like 500 game stops closing this year something like that wow. yeah oh man i should have gone yeah dude i would have i would have known because i would have gone to, like even get some free shelving for like this place free shelving, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know but so that's that that's the red dead 2 news um next i think it's kind of cool because um oh sorry I'm wow fucking mistake. i'm a what rookie fuck? It's my first time podcasting guys i'm sorry oh my, my phone god i'm, I'm a piece so of shit embarrassed you know what? i'm just gonna leave just bye um Anyways, back to the story. Uh -huh. Back to this breaking news. Um, Zelda, a Zelda mobile game is reportedly in the works. Nice. Like they did with uh, Mario. I mean, mm -hmm. not saying it's going to be the same touch, like the way. That was kind of lame. Interface. I, it's fun. Yeah, but like kind of lame. Yeah. I mean, what else are you going to do with Exactly. You know, on a phone. Still. Yeah. I agree. But uh, I think it's cool. I think you can definitely do like a dungeon crawler esque version of Zelda with a tap and touch kind of thing you yeah. know yeah um assuming that's the way they go mm -hmm. and then that's gonna follow the release uh that's gonna release after the yeah, animal crossing app comes to the to the ios that game was a big deal i know I, people I, I love remember, that game. yeah i remember that game being a huge people deal. lost like their lives is to it, that game is it gonna be similar like to yeah the gameplay okay because yeah. I, I mean that's what they're saying anyway i i watch people play but i never actually like played it myself exactly one well, same thing like i i don't like i'm not the, like into those type of games like just grinding just constantly like it reminds me of like the one of the first facebook games like farmville like farmville it reminds yeah. me of farmville dude i used to play um i think that's where they got the idea i but. used to play no that's not okay that's dragonville that's that's the i that's the iphone mm -hmm. game but there's a there's a game on the oh i don't remember monster <sighs> monster quest monster on quest. facebook where it was kind of like facebook yeah it was like it was like a ripoff of pokemon super ripoff and like there's like there's like a map and you got to go to each location and you got to battle yeah, <sighs> see those those are those games i just I look right past. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't even acknowledge them. I see the names pop up all the time. Yeah. So that's how I kind of know them. But like, and then I, I get requests to play. Like, I don't I think talk those are, to you on Facebook. And those are mostly bots. Oh, okay. Yeah, in their behalf. Because I've been judging people so hard who I'm nah. friends with on Facebook. I mean, sometimes like, it's what? legit, but like most of the time it's just like people say I'm, I'm inviting them to shit all the time. But oh, damn. Yeah, it's not true. I swear it's not true. So that's that. Uh, next, South Park: The Fractured Butthole. Yeah. Finally got a release date. And I'm super excited for it because they they they, de they didn't like they kind of delayed it. It was supposed to come out already, but they delayed it. But now its release date is October seventeenth. 
All right. So not too far away. Not too far. Not too far. I didn't even know it should have already released. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But, man, that game's going to be so good. You played the first one? Yeah. So you actually, I didn't get to play it. No. No. Um, I heard such good things, though. If you have an Xbox 360, I can send it your way. Yeah, dude. There but you here's go. the cool thing. I don't know if you know. Oh, we can play two players. What? We can get through it together. But here's the thing. With this release, when you buy the game, you get the first one for free. I did hear about that. So that's kind of yeah. cool. But I'm still done to play it anyway. It's not an exclusive. It's for both, right? Yeah. It's for, okay. Yeah, all consoles. Okay, yeah. all consoles. Okay. So I'm excited for that because those game like I watched a lot of gameplay. I got to see all the trailers. Like it just looks like I love that world that they made. It, oh yeah, and the and the 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 transition from like TV to video game is just so seamless. And yeah. I like I said, I. Like some of the jokes, they can go a little like more than what you can show on TV, which right. is even better. Like more X rated. Yeah, 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 it's awesome. Which is hard to believe, but mm-hmm. uh, they do it. Uh, <laughs> next up, Ubisoft to slow down on their production of qual like quantity of games. So like, I don't know if you know Ubisoft. They are a huge uh, are. French company who makes games. Mm-hmm. A game, develop- game developer. Um, okay. And they just pump out. They pump out all the Assassin's Creeds, all the um, Tom Clancy games. Oh, right, um, right, right, right. Okay. And they I just have, they come out over and over and over again. I have one of those Tom Clancy games. Like, Rainbow Six. Yeah, I have mm-hmm. one of those. See, I don't think they. I don't think they published those ones. Oh, okay. They're more recently. Just, I got it one time for Xbox Live for free. So oh, yeah. that's all. Rainbow Six Vegas, I think that was for free. Yeah, I remember because yeah. I downloaded it too. Yep. Yep. Um. Oh, so back to what I'm saying. So there's, they're going to slow down the amount of games they're going to release in favor of um, on like so pretty much supporting whatever games they do release with more DLC because what they're finding is people like they find their game that they like and they just like they're down to like pay the money for like extra perks extra skins extra mm-hmm. and they're, they're kind of like with gta 5 like that how they're still able to make thousands a month just off people buying like more in-game gta money okay and like you know new cars and like shit like that so they figure they're gonna do the same thing with their properties and they predict uh, they have like their own analysts of course that make all these decisions that they'll either make they either break even but spend mess, less money on resources on different teams to make other games. Mm-hmm. And so they'll save money. Yeah. Or they'll either they'll either make more money by hyper-focusing on the extra content they can sell to you, which some people don't like to hear, which I'm kind of one of those people. But like I'm one of those people that wishes that they would release a game mm-hmm. and like everything you want, you would want in that game is there for you to have already. Okay. Instead of like, oh, that's cool. I can get it. Yeah. But I have to pay for that extra thing. You know, okay. like kind of like Injustice 2. Um, there's two locked characters that I could get, but I have to pay like, I think, 10 bucks each for them. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's not a lot, but it's like enough to be like, ah, fuck it. Like, I don't need it's them. still fun without them. Exactly. So that's kind of, that's going to be their, uh, their game plan from now on, I guess. So that is that. Moving on down the line. I was going to talk about. Coming. You have a sneeze? I'm trying to. Get it to go away. Oh, okay, what's next? Don't what's do next? it. Don't you dare do it. I know. All right. So I don't know if you know about this game. It's a little game. It's a little There's game. some nerds okay. who care about it. It's called Destiny. Oh, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I don't I've know. Never. It's like this indie game, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's made by Bungie, and uh, they had a press conference, I guess you want to call it, a release party, but they're not releasing the game. Just kind of like explaining. Like a hype what, party. A hype, yeah, hype, hype okay. show. There explaining what to expect, uh, what's coming, and why you should be hyped. Mm-hmm. So I have a few things I want to break down for you that was talked about. Late Pretty on. much, story wasn't the biggest star of Destiny, the first one, uh-huh. but they're gonna. It's taking a huge, huge like it's gonna make a big presence in this in this next version, right? On. Where it's gonna drive. Like the character development, like they're focusing on that this time. They're they're listening to what people want, and they want more of the backstory, more of the lore, to kind of en- envelop themselves into these characters. Which they do have some cool characters, so that's cool. Um, next, uh, new weapons, uh, new weapons uh, system for more freedom. Um, pretty much like 
they're talking about the um the loadout you have when you're actually in the game like you can there's mm-hmm. like different slots that you can assign certain weapons uh-huh. and they're going to give you more freedom on like which weapons you can take with you cuz in the first one like you had to like really plan out your mission based on like your situation okay and this one like they're gonna let you have more fun with it so i thought that was really cool nice. uh new abilities is uh is a thing in this one uh so i'll read this one off the off the phone here it says the three base classes of titan warlock and hunter will remain the same but there are now be new subclasses so pretty much like when you know call of duty you prestige yeah well yeah. when you hit a certain level with these characters you can then open up a sub version of their abilities so these are uh they talked about dawn blade uh solar warlock subclass with a super that lets you fly around and fire sling a sword which sounds cool the sentinel uh a void titan subclass who can summon a shield to smash into enemies and throw like captain america right um and the r arc strider the arc is a hunter class sub uh, subclass who wields powerful staff and lightning um pretty much like do from star wars just like hand blasting electrical yeah Yeah, so it looks pretty cool um multiplayer gets more competitive um they're focusing the uh for um the like uh not multiplayer uh, the uh pretty much where you go against another team but because the first one was i think six on six or something like that or maybe more but this one they're gonna hyper focus it to uh four v four Okay. So I think they're gonna like be they're they're planning on it being more intense, like more uh more engaging, I guess. Does less players make it more engaging? Well, it depends now? on the map and like how they design the map. That's true. If it's That's like close true. quarter and like these guys are like wielding like crazy powers and like it can get pretty intense. Yeah, okay. Because I think with the I think what they're thinking was with the with more players, it's just like a, too almost too much. Mm-hmm. You know, too much chaos. And maybe they beefed up their like uh like their uh, their damage and their wieners, mm-hmm. and they could you know they need to compensate. Oh, right on. Um, less loading, um, which is huge because that was a big turnoff for me. Like if you wanted to go from one map to another or just check out and go to another little section on the map, you had to go to orbit. It's like this little menu where you're like in a stupid ass spaceship, and it's just loading. <laughs> and they're saying this time they're getting rid of that and like cutting Good. it way down. So that's huge. Um, new locations um they're gonna have so far they've shown european dead zone um let me see the uh, moon of uh of saturn one of saturn's moons okay and an ocean called nessus i don't know it's like a vex which is a character in the game's planet right uh clan support and matchmaking which is cool so you can create a clan group of friends and um fucking go at it with each other and uh, make matchmaking a lot quicker and easier and that's pretty much it um for now i mean just more weapons more more of what you like but they're kind of improving on what was lacking which is what you all you can hope for yeah yeah you don't you don't want to take stuff away either yeah and it didn't seem like they're doing that it seemed like they're pretty much going for what everyone was talking about and bitching about okay so next, uh, Far Cry released a little teaser video, Far Cry 5, I should say. And uh, we talked about it last week, how it's confirmed that they're coming out with Far Cry 5. But this time, they're showing um, a video, and you don't really understand what's happening at first. It's um, It just shows, like, there's a few... They, sh- they break up the video in, like, different little segments of scenes. Mm-hmm. And the first one is, like, just a scenic um, mountainscape, and it just says uh, American Montana. So you're in Montana this whole time, like you're in Montana. So these Far Cry games, I've never played them. Okay. What um, what are they about? What's like the story? Is there like a story? They're all line? different stories. Is they're that- all the same idea, but pretty much you just take out like the last one was like um like I didn't play the last one, uh-huh. but I heard a lot about it. You pretty much take out like a a, a drug lord of um like a poor country. It okay. has a bunch of like fucking minions to do his dirty work. And uh, he's just a bad guy. And you just have a bunch of creative ways in a huge open world to to kick his ass and like break, you know, take over sections. And like, like that's what that's what like the Far Cry games are just, like kind of known for is the creative ways and paths you can take to do whatever you want to do. Right. Um, so. I, I'd have to 
play one of those games. I've always heard of them, but I've yeah. never. They actually made a really shitty movie, believe it or not. Of course, of the of the um, of the a franchise. Shitty video game. Movie? Yeah, I know. Who thought? Who'd have thought? I know. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know. But um, when did that come out? I didn't even hear about that. It's old. It's old now. Oh wait. Yeah. So when did the first Far Cry game come out? It. Fuck. I don't. Know. I have to look that up. It was like that old, like yeah. pre X. Like I think 3- it was on the first 360. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so not Damn. entire. But it's still pretty old. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that's so sad. I know, I know right? Old. Jesus. Man, we're old as shit. <laughs> um, oh, anyway, so yeah, so each scene shows you a different part of Montana, uh-huh. and then one of the, like the scenes is like of a, a nice, beautiful lake, and okay. this is all like real video, like not a and um, like not a CGI or a render. Or maybe it's just so, that good. Or maybe it is. I, you know what? That's a good point. That's a good point. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Uh, but they show like the river and like yeah. it looks beautiful. And then all of a sudden you see like a dead body just float, nice. float right on by. They don't say anything. It just floats right on by. They show uh, a church, like an old school church in the middle of nowhere where this dude just ringing the doorbell, ringing the doorbell. You don't know what's going on. And as they zoom in, he's like smashing a guy's head into the, the into the, oh. the bell, the tower. And you're like, damn, okay. And they don't explain anything. They just show these things and it just gives you like this eerie feeling like what the hell is happening in this town? <laughs> Yeah. This, this, uh, this whole area and then today they released a still image of a um, like a kind of like Last Supper style uh-huh okay a group of people yeah and the dude in the middle is like the main bad guy I'm guessing he looks kind of hipstery okay and um, it kind of looks like a cultish hick vibe kind of thing going on and like it looks really, it's really intriguing. Is all mm-hmm. I could really gather from it. It's just like I want to know what it's about. So I'm excited for it. Um, I they say it could come out this year, which I don't believe it is. At least that's what the report said. Um, but I'm down for Far Cry. Like they usually are fun, even if, even if you don't beat them. Like they're fun to play for like a couple hours. Like okay, just to fuck around with the world. Um, I have to give so it a that, shot. That is that. Yeah, we will piques my interest. The, maybe we can use a game pass. To check oh, it out, huh? yeah. full circle, huh? download huh? it and just play download everything. That shit. Yeah. Um. Right, quick. This is like, ah, eh, who cares? But it's interesting. Um. <clears throat> Xbox uh, came out, or Microsoft, I should say, came out, and they made a statement saying that they're going to give developers of uh, upcoming Scorpio games the mm-hmm. choice of the frame rates that they will allow the game to play at. And why that's a big deal is because people are saying how, well, like, like Destiny, it's going to be yeah. locked at 30 frames a second on Xbox One, PS4, PS4 Pro, and the Xbox Scorpio. And people are like, well, that Scorpio is supposed to play at 4K, 60 frames a second. Why isn't that 60 frames a second? Yeah. Nerding out like a bunch of nerds. <laughs> um, and the reason, well, in, in Xbox defense, they're saying that they're, like they said, they're giving them the freedom. It's not them controlling it. That's true. So it's not on them, um, but the reason that they're thinking that they're locking it all on the same frame rates for all consoles is just because it's easier to make a game that way. It's just less resources, less time, and you can, unless you like, have like a badass setup with a badass monitor, you're you're not gonna really tell. You yeah, know? even can, with movies like yeah, four K and the. 1080, 1080p. Like a 1080p on like a badass TV versus 4K, it's hard for me to tell. Mm-hmm. It just depends on the screen yeah. size, really. Um, I got a, uh, I got a Blu-ray player that has the that plays 4K. Yeah, I got it dirt cheap because it was an open box item on clearance. Oh, really? And I'm not gonna lie to you, like I can tell the difference. Like I'm, if I'm you, sure you play any DVD or Blu-ray, and it's just so. But even crystal. a regular DVD, yeah. It ups like it. Oh, they did some oh, do upscale. Man. You're right. Yeah, it upscales and yeah. it's just like beautiful. Like I'll have to bring it over and show you. Like you That's can cool. tell the difference like right off the bat. See, the the reason I say you can't tell the difference is because they do a lot of um, compare like online, like on YouTube. You can go to YouTube comparisons on X game versus computer versus mm-hmm. PS4 or whatever, and they do side by side images, and you can't tell. Yeah, you, you know, I mean. I mean, and partly I, could be because it's on YouTube, also. Yeah, but also like if I was a gamer, I don't know. I mean, I would, would expect good graphics, but like that high quality, like 
you know, I don't know. Yeah, like, oh, I can't tell. Plus, you're too busy playing the damn game exactly. to even pay attention to, exactly. you know, that kind so, of stuff. Just know, don't throw your pitchforks at Microsoft. It's the developer's choice, according to Microsoft. So that's that. Two more things on the docket here. Okay. And we're going to wrap it up. But Lawbreakers was a PC exclusive. Uh-huh. Created by Gears of War. Cliff Blazinski. He's wearing a shirt right now. Gears of War shirt. And um, I actually got to play it last year at E3 on PC. And I was like, dude, this is so cool, man. Like, I can't wait to play it. But it's only on PC. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to spend, like, another crap ton of money on a rig just to play this game. <laughs> yeah. But it's an insane game. It's a, it's just multiplayer. Um, a lot of people are comparing it to Overwatch because there's, like, a bunch of crazy characters um weird abilities um but i'm telling you right now it is nothing like overwatch um it takes okay. a, a lot more a lot more skill i hate to say it, it takes a lot more skill to accomplish what you need to accomplish in lawbreakers it's like a like lawbreakers meaning that they're bad guys but really it's like law like gravity like there's they're like anti-gravity boots they're like rocket jumping like oh that's cool. crazy like all over the place kind of a shooter game in the air off buildings and stuff and um it just it's similar in theory to overwatch but definitely different but uh i was super excited today mm -hmm. it was announced that lawbreaker is now coming to the playstation 4 so bravo that's cool i'm super excited about that it's not going to be a ps4 exclusive but it's a as of right now a console exclusive you know because it's not coming to xbox mm -hmm. right um so i'm hoping that they're going to do cross play Crossplay between the between PC and PC. PS4, like okay. they do with um, Rocket League, which is a car soccer game, which is really fun if you haven't played it. Um, so that was cool. That's that. Um, it was interesting because Cliff said that he would never make another console game ever, um, but obviously he knows that PlayStation is killing it right now. And speaking of killing it, in PlayStation PSN now has over seventy million active users. 70 million. I know you're talking this shit about this, this this fad last week. If you guys didn't hear, he's saying that gaming is a fad. Don't all get over it. Just get <laughs> so yeah. All 70 million are going to get over it. <laughs> and that's only PlayStation, too, huh? That's, that's only PlayStation. Counting Xbox or. That's fucking Xbox nerds. <laughs> but, um, so you're saying PS is the way to go? I still say it's up to preference because the control, I like the Xbox controller better. I don't know. Like I, just, I've been thinking about it. Like now, now that I have a little bit more monies, I'm like maybe I should it. get a console. It's a hard decision. It's, it's hard. not. It's, it's just hard. get it. You'll be way better as a person. I just, You'll it's be hard. more successful. Um, more successful. Your dick gets at least three inches bigger. <laughs> um, so just get one. Is it? Does that happen like on the date of purchase, or do I have to wait? I mean, pretty much. Okay. I mean, for okay. me, it's never been an issue anyway. But oh, okay. It's still, I mean, I gave the three inches back because I'm a uh -huh. giver. Right on. But uh, yeah, so 70 million. And now people are saying, well, that includes PS3. Sure. But not that many people are using PS3 anymore. I'd say 1%, if that. So like 69 million of the 70? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if that. If that. And that's a, that's a high percentage. So that's it for the gaming news. Uh -huh.